hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Yay! This is actually the first video of our new season. We're entering season 5 on this channel and this is episode 1. And we're starting off at a park. Park and meal deals all summer long because that is just the vibe. I went to this park for the first time when I was 16 years old, I think. I went with my friends and I just remember this park being so magical, like it had a lake, it had um, a canal and there was like boats on there and there was like a golf course and like a mini waterfall and it just was so pretty. I just remember it being so beautiful and fun. So I had to take my sister here because... Got a little stick. Oh. Oh. Wow, like I feel like everyone has to go here. Um, it's called Cassio Berry Park or Cassia Berry Park to be honest I'm not sure how to say it um, but like this park is just so peaceful and pretty oh my gosh so I had to mute Lozi's clips because I was cringing so bad at myself for the commentary I was giving whilst filming but a lot of the clips in this vlog have been filmed all the way back in May but I've only just gotten around to editing them wow. now which is why I'm posting a summery spring vlog in autumn but like the vibes in this park are too good that are matched just make sure to take an antihistamine before going because you will be sneezing everywhere if not Yeah. I'd like us to be and I want yeah and like once again pouring yeah. the whole thing inside. Be careful that it doesn't chuck up, but just get the whole thing in. Perfect. And just pour that pour the whole thing in there for me. Delicious, delicious. It is. Your parents like so big. I love your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I love a lot at the airport. Funny. I was like, I'm gonna redo it. Fantastic. Nice. I think that looks like sealing it together. That's the nerve wracking part. Um, so let's start with um, let's start with our pink side. So if I, we're gonna do with each side. I put a little bit too much in mine. Oh, might have to take a little bit out. You want to just sort of do this? You feel like you've got your hand on your pressure here. Yeah. Wow, she's doing such a good job. <laughs> Do you want to push it? Nice. You can push it down a little bit. You're going to overfill it. And this is the nerve wracking bit. Overfill, overfill. When you're going to push them together, oh. and you're going to give a bit of a, just a rotation, you're going to squeeze and rotate. Yay, the bath bombs that we made. And we made them matching with. We did such a good job. Our bell. Bag also comes with a lifetime guarantee. So if it starts to wear out or if it starts to fray, they better have one. This literally looks so yuck, but I promise it was actually really good. Black bean sauce beef thing. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into this part of the video and show you a few clothes I got sent over from Shein. I am actually obsessed with this clothing haul because there are so many pieces in here that I am just wearing all the time. The first one was the grey blazer and the next one are these grey trousers. They fit so good and the length is actually perfect. I also got a trench coat because I had a trench coat before but it wasn't giving what I wanted it to give. So this one is so good because it's long and it's also got a good lining on the inside. And then also got this pleated skirt. It is really cute, I really love it. And of course I had to get some more stompers because I am obsessed with stompers. So I'll leave all the links to these in the description box down below. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I need to take a minute to talk about the Cartoon Museum. So basically, I hadn't even heard of this place at all, but ages ago I bought this subscription app called Butt, and basically you get five activities a month. I only did the first month because it was like £15, and then after that I think it was like 40 or something, so I cancelled my subscription. But this was one of the activities, and when I heard Cartoon Museum I was so excited because I thought it was going to be all cutesy and fun and like cute bears and stuff but it actually wasn't and this is totally different to what I expected but I was like wow there's actually so many comics and cartoons that I wouldn't have even thought about and some of the stuff that was on display I feel like I learned about it back at GCSE History and it wasn't just like stereotypical cartoons it was like historic stuff like what would be in the newspapers and like propaganda and stuff so if you're offended easily this museum may not be the one for you but it was pretty good to go and visit once I probably wouldn't go again but if you're into this sort of thing then I think you'd really like it This is my finished drawing. It looks kind of crazy and it looks like a lot of swirly whirly patterns. And to be fair it is, at the start I did like a flower and then I kind of just went with the flow and I wanted to do like some swirly patterns. So I'm gonna put it back in the envelope. This is my envelope. I just decided to write this. I'm not even sure if you meant to write anything on it, but I thought I'd write it and how pretty and good looking is this one? And it's actually got bare meanings to it. And compared to the one that I did, you can also tell I did not do this. But um, the concept's at the sun, and the sun's actually made of oil. And that's why the sun is not like shining, it's kind of like drops. And I thought these were clouds, but they're not clouds. It's meant to represent like more of the oil. And yeah, it's been taken from this sort of theme which is what we were supposed to do but I just decided to do whatever I wanted but this is just looking like a work of art. Why was it that Africa is so instrumental to Caribbean social formation and identity? This is the greenhouse. I actually have to bend to get in here and other people have put their letters in already and the pictures so I'm just going to pop this there. Okay, I need to talk about this quesadilla that I got from Meathead because what the actual freak? This is the first time I've ever tried a sample from store and literally had to buy it straight away. I wasn't even gonna buy this, 
but I was so confused in the food court at Camden Market and I just didn't know what to get and these guys were making samples and giving them out so I tried one and I was like this is exactly what I need right now and then I went home and looked them up on Instagram and turns out they're actually really famous on TikTok too so that was a really good find. I have seen Brompton Oratory all over TikTok and it's apparently one of the places you should go to visit in London and this is what they kept showing on the TikTok, this exact screen with like the angels and stuff and I was like wow that is so pretty but I didn't actually realise it was a church so I ended up actually coming here for mass another day as well. A few days later I got this package from Protein World and They've sent me packages before in the past and I was really excited for this one because I really wanted to try out the Slender Blend and Strawberry Milkshake flavour and that is like my go-to at the moment. It's so good and I also decided to get a cake in a mug because I love cake and I've been making this but I've been adding a spoon of jam as well to the mixture that they give you and it is literally so good. I recommend it.